Travels offers a wide variety of self-priming, regenerative monoblock pumps for different needs. Customer can visit the Havels retailer or dealer shop or log on to www.havels.com for product selection. Following information needs to be shared with the dealer or retailer for proper pump selection. Pump is primarily designed to lift water from underground tanks, sumps and wells. In case the water has to be lifted to the overhead tank, then the capacity of the tank and number of floor above which overhead tank is located should be informed. Total bends if known along with pipe sizes 30mm or 25mm for proper head selection. Please read the operating instruction manual carefully before installing the pump. Recommendations before installation Pump should be placed on the elevated platform under sunroof to avoid contact with water and direct sunlight. Use the recommended pipe size as per flange size mentioned on the nameplate. Ensure minimum number of bends in pipeline. Recommended suction lift is 4 meter, but it can work up to 8 meter depending on the model. Use rigid suction and delivery pipes. Use strainer at the suction pipe end. Use ISI mark voltage stabilizer when pump is powered by portable generator for safety of the motor. Pump should be used for pumping off clear cold water without any solid particles like metal, sand particles etc. Remove suction and delivery flange. Cut the rubber gasket and drain out the anti-rust solution from the pump. Rinse and clean the pump casing from inside with clean water. Fit the pipe to respective flanges. Ensure minimum number of bends and airtight joints. Use specified pipe sizes mentioned on the nameplate. Use anaerobic pipe sealant or Teflon tape for the pipe joints. Avoid use of gunny pieces or jute ropes. Maintain minimum clearance of 10 cm between the suction pipe bottom and the water tank surface from all sides to avoid suction clogging. Check for any air leakages at the joints in the suction pipe as this could affect the pump performance. This is self priming pump. It is necessary to fill water into the casing by opening the air vent plug. After complete filling, Tighten the air vent plug properly before starting the pump. Now start the pump and wait for maximum 3 minutes to get the water discharge at the maximum suction lift. Connect the supply wire to the motor lead wire which should be properly sealed. Switch on the supply. Check the direction of rotation of motor. It should be clockwise. When looking from the fan cover side of the motor and as indicated by arrow on the pump casing. Precaution. Before operation, make sure the pump is properly fixed at the place of installation and should never be placed in inclined position. Pump must be properly earthed using earthing cable to ensure human safety. Pump should never run dry. Please keep the pump away from reach of children. It is important to run the pump daily at least for 2 minutes to avoid jamming of the pump. Fill water in the pump casing adequately before starting the pump after a long time, greater than 4 days. Periodically check and clean the strainer or suction mesh to avoid clogging. For pump starting issues, low voltage less than rated range, operate the pump as specified on nameplate. If motor fails to start, Check switch terminal and cable connection. If impeller is jammed, rotate shaft manually with the help of screwdriver or clean the foreign particles in the pump casing. Low capacitance of capacitor, replace capacitor as per nameplate. Lose electrical connection, tighten electrical connection. For low discharge issues, Low voltage, less than rated range, higher suction lift, more than 4 meters. Collapsible flexible suction pipe, more number of bends, leakage in pump casing or pipelines.
always use genuine spares for your Havels pumps. Please feel free to contact for any technical support and complaints.